everyone, who loves dinosaurs? I think they're really interesting, but how do scientists know about dinosaurs seeing that we don't have any dinosaurs today? Well, one of the ways they do it is to look for fossils. And fossils are actually impressions of animals and creatures and fauna and flora that have lived way before us in time that have been captured in rock or in stone. So today we're gonna to make our own pretend fossils. What you're gonna need is some modeling clay, some plaster of Paris, and your favorite dinosaur, or pretty much anything you wanna make an impression out of. We're gonna start with a little bowl and some modeling clay. So you're gonna put the clay into the bowl and just flatten it out. So I'll probably take half a packet here. And you're gonna flatten it out so that it's nice and flat on the top because what you want to do is make an impression of a dinosaur, not of your fingerprints. So once it's nice and flat, you're going to take your favorite dinosaur. Hmm, which one shall I pick? Quite like this guy. Okay, so you're going to squash him in to make an impression or get the shape into your modeling clay. So when you're happy they're pressed in enough, you're going to pick them out and you should have a nice dinosaur shaped impression here. Now we're gonna fill that. Now in nature, that would be filled with rocks over periods of time, but we're gonna make our own rock in a very short period of time by pouring on some plaster of Paris that'll fill that impression hole and letting that sit for about 24 hours to set. Luckily, I have made one before and so once it's set, and you can tell that because it sounds hard when you tap it, you're gonna peel it off from the impression and you should find, oh, here's one I made yesterday of some dinosaur footprints. And so you can see that these are the impressions of these dinosaur feet. And that's basically how fossils are formed without the millions of years bit. So you can make your own impressions of anything you want to come up with your own fossils at home. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on Nanagill Science Adventures.